Gavin, what's the difference between a standard MS lesion and a slowly expanding MS lesion? So as you know, in multiple sclerosis, lesions come and go. So we get a new lesion on the scan. The majority of those lesions will regress and get smaller, but a small pr proportion, we think it's about one in 20, about 5%, won't get smaller, they will gradually, from then onwards, expand, slowly expand. And that lesion causes damage. We know at the rim of that lesion, there's, there's ongoing damage to the nerve fibers, there's ongoing stripping of the myelin insulation of the nerve. And what's causing that, we don't know. But we do know that those lesions are associated with a much worse outcome. And that's what we call the cell, the slowly expanding lesion. Now, some of those may have a rim around them of a particular type of cell called the microglia, which is part of a uh, the immune system that pick up all the debris. And that microglial rim can also be seen on MRI scan um, because, it had, because they contain iron and the iron affects the scan and they have, they're called rim lesions. So there are two types of lesions that get bigger. One is called a rim lesion uh, and, and one is called a slow expanding lesion. There's a bit of overlap between those two types of lesions. But all we know is that they are much more destructive and when you have a large number of them, they associate with a much worse outcome. So what we now need to do is develop treatments because our current therapies are not very good at stopping these lesions from getting bigger. So now we need to develop new treatments and we are, we've got a clinical trial, several clinical trials going on of drugs that get within, into the central nervous system, into the brain to target these very, uh, these microglia. We call them hot microglia. A good analogy is like they're burning a hole that's getting bigger and we've got to try and suppress these microglia and hopefully by stopping them we protect the nerve fibers around them stop people with MS getting worse. So that's what we're doing right now with this new class of treatment. Okay, is this for every type of MS? At the moment, the trials have been done across the spectrum of MS, okay. but because we find these slowly expanding lesions in all types of MS, this treatment, these treatments are potentially for all types of MS. So how do these lesions um, affect progression? Because these lesions are getting bigger and we know at the rim of these lesions, there's ongoing demyelination, damage to the myelin, the insulation of the nerves, and then also a lot of nerve fiber damage. So these lesions are actually destroying nerve tissue. Okay. Um, and we know that when you count these up and you measure the volume of them, the size of them, they correlate or associate with worse outcomes. So people who've got a large volume, large number of these lesions, are much more likely to get worse in the future than people who have a small volume. So the, uh, the whole principle is, can we shrink these lesions or stop them getting bigger? And then we hopefully change the progression of the disease and we'll slow it down or stop it from getting worse. Unfortunately, we don't have treatments to, to repair the brain at this yeah. point in time. And the, the number and size of these lesions gets bigger with time. So you really do want to get in early. And mm. um, that's the whole underlying principle of treating MS. How, how do we diagnose, treat and manage it early? But that doesn't mean to say if you've had the disease a long time and you're more disabled, these treatments won't work. Okay. It's just that the treatment response will be less, you know, the more advanced your disease. But in principle, we should be treating all stages of MS uh, to try and target these lesions and this, and this pathology. Okay, so are the lesions a response to anything in the tissue? Well, that's the two competing theories. So one of the competing theories is that these lesions are actually dysfunctional. In other words, these cells uh, are the problem and they're causing these lesions to expand. The other theory, there's something in the tissue and these cells are responding to the what's in the tissue. And the only way we're going to find that out is by using drugs to to downregulate or to suppress these cells and, and see what happens. I think it's probably a bit of both, but because they are so pro-inflammatory, they're releasing all these chemicals that are exacerbating the damage. So I think even if there is something in the tissues, dampening or suppressing these cells may make a difference. Uh, that's what it looks like, at, at least already from our clinical trials, that if you do actually dampen down the microglia, and there are studies on our existing therapies showing that if you put people on very potent anti-inflammatories, you do downregulate or switch off these cells and people do better. Please don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified when each episode goes live.